Hello my friends, welcome to my channel and I hope you are all fine. In today's video I'm going to show you how to make hybrid supercapacitor. In one of my short video I show you my, this, uh, my hybrid supercapacitor, but some of you my friends told me that there is a hidden battery inside this, so they didn't believe me. But in today's video I'm going to show you that there is no hidden battery inside this hybrid supercapacitor. I will show you its power and I'm going to show you how to make a hybrid supercapacitor but in a reversing way so it will be better for you to understand how to make a hybrid supercapacitor. So let's start to measure the voltage inside my hybrid supercapacitor first of all. Okay, let's measure the voltage. As you see, there is approximately 2.07 volt. So it's a little bit more than two volts in my hybrid supercapacitor. Now I am going to uh, run this small blender with my hybrid supercapacitor. You see how powerful it is. It's pretty powerful. So let's short circuit it. Okay. Oh. You see? It's pretty powerful hybrid supercapacitor. Now we will uh, open up this hybrid supercapacitor. I will show you inside it and tell you step by step how you can, how you can create your own hybrid supercapacitor at home. But before opening up the hybrid supercapacitor, I'm going to show you the basics of uh, supercapacitors and hybrid supercapacitors, and I'm going to tell you the differences between them. In normal supercapacitor, as you see, there are two current collector, the red line here, uh, symbolize the current collector. There are two current collector, and here, in positive and on positive and on negative uh, current collector, we have activated carbon on both sides, and there's a separator here. And between two plates, we have an electrolyte here. Sometimes um, acetonitrile or sodium hydroxide or some kind of electrolyte we use uh, between these two plates. As you see on the positive and on the negative we have activated carbon or it could be graphene of course but in hybrid supercapacitor on the positive sides instead of activated carbon we use metal oxide in this case in my um, hybrid supercapacitor i've just used uh, lead oxide so on the on the negative side i used activated carbon so in hybrid supercapacitor the system almost very similar but on the positive uh, current collector we used metal oxide on the negative current collector we use activated carbon again there's a separator between these two plates and we have an electrolyte uh, between these two plates again in my hybrid supercapacitor for electrolyte i've just used um, sulfuric acid 30 percent sulfuric acid in uh, deionized water so um, as you see, this is the uh, main idea, main basics of supercapacitors and hybrid supercapacitors. Now it's time to open up our hybrid supercapacitor and show you uh, the inside it and tell you step by step how you can make your own hybrid supercapacitor. As I said just a moment ago, there's a lead oxide inside my hybrid supercapacitor, so I need to use my hand gloves where my hands glow because um, lead and lead oxide is highly poisoning metals, so it could damage you, it could be harmful for you. So please, if you are playing with lead or lead oxide, please always um, wear your hand gloves for your safety, my friends. Now, I'm going to open up my hybrid supercapacitor and show you inside it.
Okay. You see, we have a row. And this is the electrolyte inside the bottle, 30% uh, sulfuric acid into the ionized water solution. So, now I am going to uh, open up this part. Okay, my friends, now I am rolled off the uh, Hebrew supercapacitor. Uh, this is the uh, first uh, lead plate. We have activated carbon on it, but it's a little bit damaged. The activated carbon uh, removed a little bit. This is the first uh, lead plate. And <clears throat> you see we have some separator here from the newspaper. I have some separator here. And this is the uh, second uh, lead plate. As you see, there is uh, lead oxide on the lead plate. There's lead oxide. And this is the uh, second separator. So if you use the lead oxide lead plate and lead oxide on the lead plate, uh, lead plate for the a uh, positive electrode and lead plate uh, activated carbon on the lead, uh, lead plate as a negative um, electrode it is very easy to make a hybrid supercapacitor and roll uh, up all of them and put it in a small um, bottle here and add uh, sulfuric acid solution 30% sulfuric acid solution you will get your own hybrid supercapacitor Okay, we get the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed the video, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. Take care of yourself, my friends. See you in the next videos.